welcome to Hooksetter University. We're here with Adventure Bro number two and... Adventure Bro number one. And guess what? We're not fishing today, we're fixing. If you've been watching our videos, you saw that we had an issue with our boat steering. Today we're gonna be switching our manual steering to hydraulic steering. We've got a packet here. You're gonna see all of the tools that comes with it, the things that you need. And we're gonna be walking you through step by step what the process looks like for us. So stay tuned. And if you don't mind, please like, comment, and hit that subscribe button right down below. Here are some of the items that are included in this installation. First off, you have your installation manual. Please follow those guidelines. You have your fittings and spacers, hydraulic cylinder, steering hose, and last but not least, the hydraulic helm. Step one, secure a rope to the helm end of the steering cable. This will come in handy in later steps in our process. Step two, disengage steering rod from the engine control unit. Step three, remove the old steering cable. At this point, you're probably gonna need a little bit of muscle and maybe even a helper. Let's take a look at what Adventure Pro number one is doing. We saw that there was a snag, so we removed that and now we're able to pull this out as smooth as butter. And as you can see, tying that rope came in handy for a later step. Look at that smile. Step number four, install the steering unit to the mounting bracket on the motor. Step number five, secure the other end of the rope to the new steering hose. Like we mentioned before, it'd come in handy. Step number six, pull the rope through until the new steering hose is exposed. Now let's take it back to the center console. Fit and install the hydraulic helm.
Step number eight, remove any excess hose and make sure you're fitting it to the length of your boat. Last thing you want is extra hose. Step number nine, we're almost there. Feed the hydraulic fluid through the steering system. And don't forget to connect the bleed hose so you can catch any excess fluid. Last but not least, step number 10, turn that steering wheel to remove all bubbles from the hose. And look at that, we finished the setup. So this concludes our DIY installing hydraulic steering and switching it from manual on your boat. This has been another episode of the Adventure Bro Show. We're here with Hook Setter University and we just taught you guys something. So thank you for tuning in. Subscribe, like, comment, share, do all of those things. We appreciate you, Adventure Bro number two. And number one, signing out. Peace out, bros.